Howdy! I would like to know how to remove and replace one bullnose tile, must be coping, from pool deck without losing the others. Replacing pool deck and accidentally sledgehammered the edge of one bullnose stone. Okay. So here's Emmy. She's answering questions with me today. She's the, the, the newest of the pool puppies. She's, uh, if you've been watching any of these videos, uh, we've been answering questions. There's been a lot of yipping and barking in the background. Well, it was her. And so now she's sitting on my lap. So now you know if you hear yipping and barking who's doing it. Anyway, to answer that question, the best way to do it is, it's gonna take a little effort, but you're gonna need a grinder, something that can cut through the grout lines on the, each edge of the, of the stone. And using that same, gr that same grinder, you're gonna to wanna to cut horizontally. So, so you have a, a bulldozed piece of coping stone and you need to take one piece out without ruining the rest. You wanna cut on both sides, through the grout line on both sides of the blue stone, or the stone itself, the coping stone, and then horizontally between the stone and the tile, as deep as you can possibly cut it. Once you do that, you should be able to at least with a hammer, lightly tap that until you break the front of the stone off. And the reason you want to start there is you want to make sure you don't damage the tile. I know, I know. You don't want to damage the tile line, so you want to try to protect that first. But if you can cut back with a grinder, if you have a big grinder, a seven inch, eight inch grinder, you can cut three inches in or four inches in. But if you only have like a four, four and a half inch grinder, you'll only get a couple inches in. But if you do that, you can break the front of the coping stone off first and then you kind of have a spot to work from there and what i would normally do is just use that same grinder and now cut, start cutting the stone up into pieces and chipping it one piece at a time you probably need either a, a, a little jackhammer or you may you may be able to just use a uh, hammer and a chisel and cut it up into pieces and take it out one piece at a time Otherwise, if you try to horse it out of there, you're right, you're gonna start damaging the stones on each side. And worse off is you loosen one. Once you loosen it, you have to take it out and redo it. So just be cautious, cut both sides, cut across the front, and then cut it up into pieces and break it up one piece at a time, doing your best not to damage the beam too bad. Because that's the other thing you run the risk of if you're hitting it too hard, you're gonna uh, damage the beam. And when you go to put the new layer of mud down to set that, that coping stone in, you have a damaged beam and it's just going to pop off. So um, hopefully that helps.